gunman targeted seven locations in the rural community of Rancho Tejama, among them an elementary school. A large high school, the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Shooters were initially believed involved in the mass shooting. One of those shooters now dead. And now these children will be asking their parents about the reality of what unfolded there at their elementary school today. With all of these school shootings going on all over America, it's just a matter of time before it's going to happen in Los Angeles. How are you, as sheriff of Los Angeles County, going to keep our children, our schools safer? It's an excellent question because you're right. You know what? There are going to be more school shootings. You can't stop crazy. But I will tell you what we can do. We can keep our kids as safe as possible. Now, when we talk about the Parkland shooting, government broke down. It completely broke down, whether it was the FBI or the local police. We know the FBI was given an email that basically said he was going to be a professional school shooter, and they dropped the ball. We know that the police department contacted him three dozen times. We know the school had ordered him not to even bring a backpack in. So I say that to say this, as the Los Angeles County Sheriff, my deputies, when these signs are given to them, we will take positive action then, not wait for him to do something in the school. We have to take positive action up front, not be afraid of, oh my God, what should we do here? What should we do there? The very minute you hear somebody is going to shoot up a school, that gives us the right to go ahead and act upon that. Because these are times when people say it, sometimes they do it. So there's a lot of things that we can do. There's 2,200 schools in the Los Angeles County area. There's 1,100 private schools. What this current sheriff did when he came in was he got rid, in concert with the last person, the last sheriff, he got rid of 600 reserves. So I heard the sheriff the other night in an interview say, there's too many schools. What can we do with it? I can tell you what we can do with it. We can protect them. And I don't look at it as a job too big to protect them. I look at it as a job we have to do right now. So you can protect them with reserves, with volunteers, with issuing CCWs to appropriate people. We talk about issuing CCWs to teachers. Not every teacher is capable of having a CCW, and some of them I wouldn't want them to have them. But when you have off-duty police officers who are teachers, when you have ex-military who are teachers, when you have ex-military or police officers who are janitors, there are all sorts of people that would be very willing to. You know what, if I go in to my grandbaby school and I'm helping or my wife is helping, we become another resource. And there are helpers all over these schools willing to protect the children. So we need to take every resource possible and put them in those schools to protect the children. But let me say this, the first thing I would do is get rid of the statement gun-free zones, because gun-free zones aren't gun-free. Was Parkland gun-free? No, there was one person who had the gun, and that was the guy who entered the school to kill everybody he could. We need gun-safe zones. We need our children to know that when they go to school, we need their parents to know when their children go to school that their kids are coming home. And we can do that by utilizing all of the resources we have, not just one resource, not just CCWs, not just reserves, not just volunteers, not just paid contracted people. You have to take the whole program and put it together so that it works. And with that, you can also use private public cooperation. There are many companies out there that would be very willing to do this for the children, that would be willing to buy, give, and resource out protection for the schools. So it's a comprehensive program, but it's all possible. Yeah, 
Oh, I totally believe it. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's really great. So again, I'm Victoria Redstall for the Bob Lindsay campaign for Sheriff of Los Angeles County. Remember to vote June the 5th for Bob Lindsay and go to the website, www.bob4sheriff.com.